much as mine In a static of your energy It's pulsing in and out of time And I don't wanna say too much I stay silent like the sea Father, I thank you that as we have spoken, the foundation is in you. I thank you that you have created the two of them. You have purposed this day and the opportunity for them to join as husband and wife as your plan has laid, been laid out. And Father, as they exchange their vows right now, I just pray that you would continue to be honored in them, but they would remember the very words that they exchange. In Jesus' name, amen. My dearest Nate, after months of planning and dreaming of getting married to one another, this day is finally here. <laughs> and I'm so thankful to the Lord for allowing us to find one another. I couldn't be more thrilled to be your bride. I vow to seek your and only your affection to cherish each and every day with you as a gift from God, to honor and exalt you as my divine commitment. From this day forward, I choose you and only you to love forevermore. The thing that I totally enjoyed about the two of you is that you really genuinely do love each other. Uh, and you've always wanted to have the foundation of your relationship based on Jesus Christ. You know, there was one time that they used to call it holy matrimony. Now they just call it marriage. But it is a holy matrimony. It's, it's God's design, and it's his plan. First, I vow to follow Christ, to seek and please him all the days of my life. In doing so, I commit myself to loving and serving you until my last breath. I promise to respect you and be pure in my conduct, holding our marriage in honor before the Lord. I promise to always seek forgiveness when I'm wrong, and to show you grace in abundance because it's given to me daily by the Lord. I promise to always believe the best about you, to never talk ill of you, and to use my words to encourage and edify you. If the Lord blesses us with children, I hope so, <laughs> I will devote myself to being a loving, compassionate, and kind mother. I promise to seek your guidance and submit to your leadership as our family's head. I promise to disciple our children in truth and to partner with you in creating a home filled with peace and love. As I say all these vows, I understand that I'm capable on my own to fulfill them. But with Christ's enablement and the Holy Spirit's empowerment, I know that he can accomplish these good works through me for his glory and our good. I love you so much. And dads, I want to thank you guys for what you've placed into them. I, I loved listening to their stories about the foundations of their relationships growing up and the foundations that the, the two families have poured into the, them as individuals to allow them to have the foundation of Jesus Christ in their life. And I'm so thankful for you guys being able to do that. That's so important. I am overwhelmed with joy and gratitude to be able to spend the rest of my life with you. Proverbs 16.9 says, A man's heart plans his ways, but the Lord directs his steps. May the, may the Lord direct our steps into Christ's love so that we can learn to love each other well. Nate and Sarah, in as much as you have shared your vows and have pledged your love towards one another, I now pronounce you husband and wife. 
today you may choose your one. It is my privilege and honor to present to you for the very first time Mr. and Mrs. Nathaniel Armendariz. But ultimately, love is a choice. The common thread throughout your relationship has been choice. Tonight, I'm beyond grateful to be able to celebrate this day with you both. Uh, we love you. Sarah and Nate's wedding ceremony is so meaningful and captivating. It's purposed to send our hearts and minds elevating. Elevating to the higher purpose calling, so much brighter than stars that are falling. Elevated to feel and see the purposed creation of you and me. I can just see that this was God's plan all along. Not to take something away from our family, but to add so much more in Nate and his family and his union with Sarah. Sarah and Nate, it's so special to see you two fit together. And just by God's design, I just bless you guys in your marriage. And I can't wait to witness you two honoring each other, as I know you both honor the Lord in the rest of your lives. So cheers to Sarah and Nate. <laughs> Love you guys. <laughs> 